What is up you guys? Clash of the Horns again and today another Bobby Evans versus the Seattle Seahawks. In the game where we roughed up that defensive line, the whole Rams offensive line did pretty good, but you guys already know I got Bobby Evans' back and I want to show you guys how good this guy is. So let's watch some tape versus the Seattle Seahawks. So we're going to start off with the, one of the first plays of the game. And this time, I think either Jadavion Clowney ends up tripping on his own player or, you know, Bobby Evans gets the best of him and he just throws him on the ground. After that, that was, to me, I was like, oh, yeah, we got this. <laughs> we got this. Bobby Evans is already in control. And uh, you look at all that space with that play. Jared G looking like a... Looking like a goat right there. When Bobby Evans up top, blocking, selling that we're going that way, which throws them off, throws the defense off. And the Rams pick up like about 10, 15 yards right there. All right, let's see. Good pass protection, nice clean pocket, finds Tyler Higby out deep, gives Goff enough time to look at all the players on the field, fakes that he's going to give it a coop, and throws it to Tyler Higby, who had about 100-something yards in this game. The Rams powered in. We're more like a power team now. Like with our offensive linemen. Touchdown right there. With our offensive linemen, it's more like we're more like a West Coast power team. And, you know, it looks pretty good right there. Clean. Just all those bodies being pushed around by the Rams offensive line. Who, who collectively did a pretty damn good job in this game. And uh, Bobby Evans did pretty good again against a really good pass rusher. All right, play action pass, nice clean pocket, finds Woods for like about 20 yards right there. So let's look at what Bobby Evans does. Goes one way, protects, protects, holds his own in the edge right there. 71, Jadavion, he couldn't, he couldn't do anything. He was, he was not ready for today's game. Drops back to pass again. Edwards gets beat on this play, though. It looks pretty gross actually Edwards just gets beat right there 73 which puts Jared in a tough situation but he finds Robert Woods okay here we go Josh Reynolds jet sweep nice nice gain so let's look at what Bobby does sells it going that way holds his guy and they pick up about 10 10 yards right there Play action one way again. They sell that they're going one way when Goff goes the other way. The whole game, uh, Seattle was not able to stop this. That's what happens when you have a balanced attack, running game, and passing game, and your offensive line is able to protect your QB. You, you can do stuff like that. All right, so one on one, and he does a good job. I mean, didn't have to do too much, but uh, Bobby Evans puts his hands on that guy. I don't even know who that is. Looks like a big defensive tackle. And uh, picks up about nine. And okay, we'll go that way. Offensive line and finds Wood. So they, they do it consistently, which worked out for the Rams really well. Um, they fit going to the left when it's really they're going to go to the right. And Bobby Evans holds his guy right there. Yeah, they actually probably could have just put, ran it in over there. Must be nice, huh? <laughs> All right, here we go. Bobby Evans, one on one against the power guy, and it does does okay. I mean, he, I think he got beat just a little tad bit, but it was enough to give Goff time to throw. So he's blocking, he's blocking, he's blocking, and Goff throws it. it doesn't find him. He could have gone to Brandon Cooks right there, but he doesn't see him in time. Now, let's block this way and go the other way. I'm telling you guys, like, McVay did it. Uh, his strategy worked. Uh, I wonder if that's what we do with the Cowboys, but the Cowboys will probably look at this tip and, and say they're not going to let the Rams do that. So uh, we'll see how that goes. We'll do another one of these showing how Bobby Evans does for the, against the Cowboys. He protects Goff very well and gets about 20, 30 almost right there. I think that was after a big uh, penalty that hurt the Rams, but the Rams were able to fire it over there and, and get a Cooper Cup. Bobby Evans does a good job. 
and let's look at Bobby right here one on one able to protect right there and touchdown Cooper Cup made it look easy man the first half was all Rams too it was it was pretty nice There we go, 71, holding it down. And you would see Jadavion switch with Whitworth and Evans, and he wasn't able to do anything with anybody. But right there, Bobby got beat. He got beat, but it was going to be a pass to Robert Woods anyway. So look at the look at the speed. He beats uh, 71 with speed, but there he's open. In a way, it works out great because that's one less player that's in front of Bobby, so uh, Robert Woods, so... He's able to just go straight right there with less players around him. And let's see what he does. Power, 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 and nothing happens. Nothing happens. Gives uh, Goff enough time. So here we go. One-on-one -on -one against this pass rusher, 99. And he's not able to do anything right there. All right, so this is the play, I think, the pick six. So many things went bad in this this one. Bobby got beat. Bobby Evans got beat in, in, the, in the inside. So uh, I think Griffin, that's his name, fakes going out, goes in, and it forces Jerry to make a quick decision, which Robert Woods was, wasn't ready to. He wasn't ready yet looking at to, to look at Jerry, so he stops, which gives them an easy pick six. Runs the ball to the left and gives Goff, I mean, gives gives Gurley enough time to, uh, to find a hole and just goes through it, which was pretty good. Let's see what uh, Bobby Evans does. So he goes over there and opens up the hole. He's pushing bodies around and he's able to break a tackle and go straight. Okay, one on one. Almost gets beat with speed right there. Goff forces something that wasn't there. So here we go. Bobby Evans gets beat, but he still puts his hands on the pass rusher. And I think he puts them on his butt, but it's too late. We make we throw an interception. So here goes Bobby Evans and one on one. He holds his own against a speedy guy. I think that's Griffin, if I'm not mistaken. Or is that Jadavion? Oh yeah, that's Jadavion. So he's one on one versus Jadavion and he holds his own right there. He's able to protect Goff just enough. Here we go. Oh, trickery. And Cup throws it, but not not well enough. Um, so they're faking going to the left. They block. But I think here Bobby Evans makes a mistake and doesn't block that guy right there. Which Cooper Cup might have needed that little extra second to plant his feet on that throw. And uh, they protect Goff very well right there. But Brandon Cooks doesn't make the catch. So Bobby Evans goes back, passes, he blocks. Higby ends up um, hitting Jadavion Clowney on that one, kind of knocking him on his ass, which helps out the Rams. Oh, okay. Jadavion got juked right there, and uh, Higby picks it up for about 30 yards. So let's see, the Rams' offensive line goes this way, protects. Yep. Gives him a nice area of, of, of you know, to throw. And uh, they do a good job right there. Fakes it again. 20 yards. Chunk plays like that helped the Rams the whole, the whole game. So let's see Bobby's uh, blocking on that end. Fakes, you know, they all uh, sell it well and gives them enough time. And by that time, the Seattle Seahawks defense was gassed, man. The, especially the defensive ends and tackles were gassed. And they get him again with the jet sweep. So we'll see how that works out right there. And the offensive linemen go up the second row to block. And they end up blocking all those uh, linebackers. And they do it one more time. Why not? They're not doing anything about it. Here we go. The Rams offensive line blocks well. And Gurley just puts that dude um, in a casket. Stiff arms the hell out of him. D flowers, Trey flowers with that stiff arm. And yeah, he's got children. He, he's someone's father, Todd Gurley. Nice running room for 
Malcolm Brown, and let's see what the offensive line does. This is by the end of the game, so this is about to finish. This is actually the last play for the Rams that that matters. And Bobby Evans holds his own. They block well right there. We're like a power base offensive line, which we used to be kind of like a finesse type of team, but now with all the new linemen that we had to put in, and mostly everybody's kind of like a power base you know player so it works out for the best for the Rams. i mean we're able to hold our own against some of these bigger body um defensive lines so we do a good job of opening holes for todd Gurley and also giving enough protection for jared and bobby evans to me is the offensive rookie of the year ever since he's came in he's done a fantastic job at the tackle position and he's able to hold his own and you guys have seen what has happened when we give Jared Goff enough time to throw and get Todd Gurley going with 100 plus yards of overall you know rushing and receiving yards so uh, let me know what you guys think to me Bobby Evans is a superstar in the making he does a fantastic job continues to do a good job and we'll see how he does against the Cowboys because the Cowboys are next and they're not looking too good. They're not looking really good e either side of the ball right now. So the Rams need this win. And, you know, this Rams team ain't, ain't stopping until they make the playoffs. So until next time, you guys, let me know what you think. And go Rams.